it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and I have just a quick unboxing video for you guys. I will review this in more depth once I have used it for a while. I ended up researching Fitbits and deciding ultimately on the Fitbit Versa, which is a newer one, because I liked it, the functionality that it had. It's kind of like part smartphone, part fitness tracker. I do have Apple and Mac products, so I thought about an iPhone, but I ultimately wanted the um, tracking aspect more than the smartphone features. I decided on this one. If you want to know my reasoning for that, I could definitely make a video for you guys why I ultimately went with this one. But I'm really excited about this. I've never had a smartwatch. I've never had a fitness tracker. And so I am really, really excited to dive in. I did get the rose gold aluminum watch with the peach bands. You can pay extra for a purple band, but I ended up ordering um, like third party bands for it. So I'm going to just go ahead and figure out how to open this and we can take a look at it. I am really, really excited. I watched so many videos on Fitbits and I'm really excited to dive in. I already downloaded the app and so I could go ahead and get started when it arrived. And so it looks like that's the small band on there. And I do have pretty big wrists, so I think I'll probably end up needing the large band. But here it is. Let's see how to pick this off here. There it is, it's already on doing something. Let's see, to start, download the app. Now it's saying in all different languages. So I'll have to set this up, I'll figure out how to do that. I'm sure there are videos walking through that, but here is the small band and I, you know, I have pretty big wrists, I'm not sure. Yeah, the small one's gonna be just on a couple of loops. You're supposed to have it tight enough that it can read your heartbeat. I wanted a heartbeat monitor one and this one has that. And so there's a look at it. People have said it's really difficult to remove these so I'll have to figure out. Oh, I can see. It's kind of difficult to get that pin when you're pulling it. And you have to get it in just right. Yeah, I can see how that's gonna be a tricky thing to do. But it looks really cute. I'm really happy with it. It looks like it has about half of the battery life left. So here's a really close look for you guys of the rose gold aluminum. There's the tracker. That's the charging port right there. It's just really pretty. I am not sure how I feel about these silicone bands. They feel soft. They feel like they won't be annoying. So we'll see. And I like that this part's also the rose gold. Let's see. Let's go ahead and dive in. Here's a little Quick start guide, it looks like. Dive in here. Here are the large bands. Well, I don't know if the large band just involves having one piece. That tells you right there. So it gives you a large and a small band just on this side. And then here's the charging thing. Each one of these Fitbits has a different charging port. So let's see if I can get this out. This is all new to me. So the cord actually seems really long. It doesn't give you the AC piece, but it gives you the USB. And then there is the charger. Go ahead and take this off. And you squeeze the sides and wedge that in. So, like so. People have, I've seen other videos on this where people have complained about the charging port being really big and bulky, but I don't think it's that big. I think it'd be fine. I don't really travel much anyway, so this will just be, I think, probably sitting in my nightstand so I can plug it in as needed. I think it's kind of cool that you know that, you know, it's locking in there, so you know you're getting a charge. I actually find those micro USBs to be really annoying, so I have the baby monitor here, but they get loose. I have problems with them working over time, both for um, Kindles and for the baby monitors. They just seem to get really loose. So I'm actually kind of excited that this has its own thing. You know it's gonna be in there and charging really nicely. And so here's a longer thing about safety instructions and warranty. And so I'm going to go ahead and I guess just work on setting this up. I'll give you guys like the main run down here. Phone free music, it holds I think about 300 songs, but you have to manually put them on like the old days with iPods, you had to actually move your music and transfer it from the computer. So I think you do have to hook it up to the internet. It also takes your heart rate. It has on-screen coaching, which is a feature I've seen, which I think sounds really cool. There's apps that you can run on here and also you can get your phone notifications. 
And then it's water resistant to 50 meters, which is one of the main reasons I went with this one. It is a waterproof one. So looking on here, it says it's four plus day battery life, but people have said that they don't usually get four days out of it. So we'll see, it just depends on, I guess, how much you're using it. So I'm really, really excited. I already downloaded the app. I'm gonna go ahead and get this charged and set up and I'm gonna start using it. So I will link to the one that I got here. There are different colors of it. I think there's a black and a silver. I don't know what they're calling the names. But I ended up with the rose gold aluminum. I just wanted to do an unboxing video and show you guys my new toy. I ended up using birthday money to order this. And you guys have known I've been on a journey to get a little bit healthier and I thought this would make it a little bit more fun. And also it'll be easier to track things with this. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about how I purchased this. I actually paid full price. I've been watching different websites and stuff and I ended up purchasing from Fitbit.com using Ebates and they have a 4% rebate. So I got $8 off that way. But even with the Father's Day sale, this one was not on sale. It's a brand new one. So I have not been able to find any kind of good deals on this. And I've been watching this one for a little while. And so I just paid the full price using the Ebates. I do have my Ebates link down below if you're interested in trying it out. And I'll link to the exact Fitbit that I purchased. I will do a review of this after I've used it for a while and tell you the things I like and don't like and all that good stuff. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.